We've had a bit of a change of plan on the decorating front and on the outside walls we're going to have exposed stone and this is actually a wooden beam so we're going to have wooden beams and traditional stippled plaster. I'll show you a picture. The joys of renovating an old house. I just removed this old board and you might be able to see the odd ant running around like there's one but there were probably the best part of a thousand flying ants underneath here when I pulled it out and I had to quickly grab the uh, dustpan and brush and lob them out the window because they literally just went straight for my open mouth really. So yeah that was a lot of fun really so yeah there was um a whole hive of um flying ants nesting underneath there oh the fun hey one of the surprising benefits of all this rubble is the floor when we uh started on this floor it was all covered in residues of pva glue from when there was lino glued down to the floor, probably in the 1970s. And as we're sweeping it up, all the sand and the rubble is actually sanding down the floor. There's a patch of PVA glue just stuck here. And it's actually clearing away all the PVA glue. And we were going to have to hire an industrial sander to get all the PVA glue off the floor. But actually, the floor is actually coming up a tree just from clearing away and sweeping up the rubble. The rubble is obviously getting into all the cracks in between the floorboards, which we're probably going to have to get out with a hoover so, or some kind of blade, but that's unfortunate. But there we go. But it's um, clearing up the floorboards of all the glue a treat.
this is all stuff I find fascinating. Up here is where the bees were getting in. Now here is an old bird's nest. Now this wall is a meter thick and this stone is loose and we found some hazelnuts in here. Now if I trace my thing down here there is a massive crack and that goes down the wall. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but this wall here is a slightly more orange shade to this and the reason is I uncovered this in the morning and this was done in the afternoon. So this part is still damp whereas this part is starting to dry out. Now this wall here, all the show or lime mortar is all just turning to dust. I don't know if you'd be able to see but it's all literally just falling out the wall. So what's happening is some of these stones have got massive cracks through them. Here's one for a crack through, here's another one with a crack through it. Yeah, so this wall's got such pressure bearing down on it, all the wall is starting to crack. Now, what we've got here, this is quite a serious situation. When I was just sort of like removing some of the rubble out the wall, the wall actually started to drop. Now, we've checked outside and the lintel underneath, it's fine. So, not too worried about it, but it's obviously a fairly ser serious situation because it's actually dropped, what, best part of a centimetre, uh, sort of like half an inch, and uh, on this side it's dropped, what, five mil, quarter an inch. Uh, so, you know, it probably weighs, you know, several hundred kilos. So, you know, we've got to do something to shore it up. But, you know, all of this lime mortar, you know, it's just crumbling and fall, falling out. So we've uh, got to dig all the lime mortar out quite deep and obviously shore all these stones back up. So, yeah, oh, I actually used the wall to push myself back up here. Now, this plaster was probably put on in the 1930s what 90 odd years ago now there if i stand back don't know if you'll be able to see but there is quite a serious crack running up the wall all the way up to the lintel at the top now this part of the wall has probably shifted the best part of um i don't know two centimeters to one side now when we took the plaster off, there was absolutely no sign of cracking in this wall. But what we did find is this. Now this is a metal bar that someone's inserted. Now that would have been inserted probably at the same time that this plaster was put on. So this sort of stitch, if you like, metal stitch, was put in... 90 odd years ago or more to hold these two parts of the wall together and when my chisel hit it it sparked that's how i knew it was metal so yeah that repair was done 90 odd years ago and obviously held the two bits of wall together so i found that pretty cool and uh what i did find which was a bit of a disappointment because we obviously wanted to make a bit of a feature of this uh wall uh is a fireplace uh you know not an original feature you know and it's got these rather nasty looking fire bricks but it's upside down and it's back to front but it's got writing in it and i don't know if you'll be able to see it's not overly clear is the words cressat gar and uh i think it's probably a b maybe an r and the words o u r o t borlo borlo and then some other characters which you can't quite make out borlo cressac gar yeah so that's quite cool another bit of history uncovered in the house so yeah so we found some pretty cool stuff yeah i find this all Absolutely fascinating. Yeah, so we got a heck of a lot of work 
stitching up an awful lot of cracks. But yeah, all cool stuff. There's some huge cracks that have been letting in smoke into the room, which probably explains why the beams have got black on them and the uh, floorboards board's got black on them. This hole, I just found some twigs and hazelnuts. I don't know if you can see. Here we go. Yeah, just take that stone out. But yeah, a little bird's nest. There we go bird's nest so that hole there goes through a meter thick wall all the way to the outside amazing eh as you might be able to see there is some shifting on the outside because this windowsill has got a crack in it the lintel above the window is good which is brilliant but here you can see there is cracking through a stone here and there are cracks all the way up there. There is some cracking through these stones here. These two stones have separated and there is quite large cracks here. And there is cracking all the way down here. Uh, when we moved in, the gutter was broken and separated, which we have temporarily fixed. We will be move, uh, repairing all the gutter when we have... We have actually got new guttering to go on. The window was actually missing, completely missing when we moved in and we've repaired that. The roof does need serious repairs and we will be getting round to that at some point. So that's not good, but we've done some temporary repairs. Uh, this will need remortaring and that is probably a very old repair. Uh, that has been fixed at some point in the past, but it's probably still shifting a little bit on the outside. And as you can see, all the show mortar in here is all coming out. Uh, on this side, again, there are some several old large cracks, but it isn't too bad. And there you can see is the acro prop that has been put in. That's not good. We have a leak. The water's coming through the roof. It's raining stair rods out there, isn't it? Oh, I've got a water blob on my head as well. So it's coming through here as well. Oh, it's coming through everywhere. Yeah, water blob here. Yeah, more water blobs there. Oh dear, we have problems. It's very loud up in the loft, sorry if I'm shouting, but we have got a lot of leaks. You can see, water on the floor here, water on the floor here, and we just put a bowl in here. As you can see, there's holes in the tiles there. We've just had to put a bowl here to catch some water. And if I come over here, there is water streaming down the wall there and across there. So yeah, and if I come across here, you can see, or maybe able to see, a whacking great hole there. More holes in the lead flashing here. So yeah, and the la last storm must have absolutely shifted the le lead flashing a tree. So yeah, we've got problems. Outside, I pointed up at where two stones had separated in the past and also where we repaired the gutter where it pulled apart in the past. These two beams are the A-frame for the roof. Now, if I move that, you can see where they've pulled apart. And the reason for that is the front of the roof is no longer flat. It's got an arch to it. Now here... You can see that the floorboards no longer meet the front of the house. There's a good, what, 10 centimetre gap there? So, yeah, you can see how much arch there is. And someone's tried to bridge the gap with a bit of nasty old concrete there. Yeah, and that is basically the stop, as you can see here. 
Yeah, there's lots of pine martin nuts and debris there. They've tried to repair it in bits of tin can and stuff like that to stop them sort of chewing their way through. So yeah, um, yeah, you can see that the problems obviously existed for quite a while. And that there used to slot right up against there. And that used to poke into a hole in there. So yeah, that's how much it's actually shifted. And if I pan up to here, this roof is now leaning that way. And that there would have come to about there. So it's tilting that way. So, you know, there's obviously quite a serious problem. You can see there's a crack line running all the way down here. Yeah, so um, there's quite a serious arch to the front and uh, this ridge of concrete gets wider towards the centre of the house and uh, yeah so um, what we thought was probably um, just you know rot on the floorboards isn't rot it's um, where the front of the house is bowed and uh, yeah so uh, We've actually got more of a serious problem than we thought. I think we took the right decision by knocking all the plaster off in this wall because basically we've uncovered, well, a bit of a nightmare really. Yeah, not, not the best of things, is no, it? No, because basically the front wall of this house is, well, there's no other way of putting it. It's, well, it's collapsing really, isn't it? Yeah, up at the top. Up at the top, the front wall of the house is basically leaning off by a good 10 centimetres. The, the beam in the, the loft is basically now about 10 centimetres too short for the house, so that's not good. All the, sh the lime or show mortar, as they call it in France, is is all falling out. And we found a load of cracked stones where you know it's falling out and they fall all the stones are now breaking and collapsing under the weight of the house. I think it all stems down from the gutters leaking. Yeah. Um, I think what's happened is with the gutters leaking it's penetrated into the wall which has rotted the beam. Um, so, when we moved in there was actually a window missing. Yeah. yeah. So it's not helped at all. So we need a total rethink and apart from finishing off doing this room we need to go up into the loft. Yeah we need to um, well, basically move all our plans completely rethink how we're going to do it yeah. now. So yeah. what started off is just a little redecorate of our bedroom. And <laughs> <sighs> not for redecorating. <laughs> yeah. Well, redecorating. Yeah. yeah, it's just a major rethink of what we're doing now. So um uh, yeah. But I mean it's it's good that we found it and um, with the nice weather apart from the thunderstorms, with the nice weather we can seriously tackle it now and get yeah. on and, and do something about it. Yeah, because there's water pouring in everywhere now. Um, so. Yeah, there's a couple of little holes in the tiles upstairs in the attic. Um, when it's raining normally, it's absolutely fine and it doesn't leak through, but the torrential downpour we had yesterday thank God, has actually shown us where the holes are. Because we've got pots and pans in the loft everywhere now. <laughs> So yeah, so like I say, with the nice weather, we're going to get the scaffolding outside, Yeah. Um, get a ladder up onto the roof, because we've yeah. got the well, hooks. Well, she is, I don't do hooks. <laughs> we've, we've got the hooks <laughs> on the roof, so I'm going to hook a couple of ladders up there and get up and see if we yeah. can put some new Downstairs tires Downstairs is all for the back row props now. So, um, yeah, our little redecorate is... <laughs> See, I told you we should just put some paint on the walls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh dear. Um, well, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. It could have all fallen down by now. Yeah. We, yeah. It could have all fallen down and um, front of the house could have dropped off. But, uh, and, and that's it's shown me how important things are, like cleaning gutters out are. And, and you know the little leak that you've got in the gutter, it splashes on the floor jumps up and it takes all the, the mortar out from between stones and stuff so it's, it's yeah. really important something as simple that as little water. tiny hairline crack you know in your wall something lurking yeah. underneath it yeah. could be a lot more when people think oh I just put a bit of yeah. uh, cement in, in an old show oh. mortar wall ah oh, what a crime that's yeah. turned out to be but we're, we're gonna give back to her and we're gonna we're gonna do the house 
properly. Properly, how it should be done. And it's going to last a lot longer than we are. Oh, it's going to outlive us now. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, as usual, like and subscribe. Yeah. Mm. He likes a bit of that. Yeah, I like a bit of that. <laughs> and uh, click the reminder button. And uh, we'll see you soon. Au revoir. Au revoir.